Hey guys, Tech Guy 651 here in my wife's pretty 2016 Ford Edge. We just got it, and it came with a broken, um, with a broken uh, storage console thing. The button is broken, so you have to use a screwdriver to pop it open. So thanks to 4D Tech, I was able to follow and you disassemble this console paneling and get everything pulled out and then we end up unlike the 4D Tech video I'm not replacing the head unit I got the good head unit but I am replacing this and that's the only way to access these two screws that hold the whole unit in so that I can replace it with a used one thankfully all the screws are pretty much the same seven millimeter so that's handy. Here's another tip. While you've got all this console stuff open, go through and wipe it down. Because we all know there's pieces and places where, oh, a little bit of pop spilled, or I put a hash brown down and the grease got in where I shouldn't have. So just take some cheapo wipes. Just wipe this stuff up. In an ideal world, you will never have this opportunity again. Something to note with this center storage console, there's a speaker in the back, there's this tray, and there's the hood and the bezel. The bezel and the hood are actually separate from this, so to get in here and unclip it, you go in and lift it, pop it open. I'm going to do that around the whole thing. Well, that took a lot longer than it should have because the speaker is actually has seven millimeter bolts pushing it down in so you have to remove the speaker grate which requires an eyeglass screwdriver to pop the back off because this lid is in the way but now we should be good got the speaker out speaker unclipped now the moment of truth Let's see if we can that and that and you can see I got tired of using plastic so nothing like a good 1980s craftsman uh, screwdriver oh, it feels a lot more floppy than it did before that's good ah popped it out perfect hey and I got some treasure well look at that reassembly should be pretty straightforward. I've got a new one with a button that works. I've got room for the speaker. Button works and there's some marks here where I used a cheap cleaner. But it looks like it's good. Also Somewhere online I've come across a um, speaker you can get for another vehicle that has the right fit. You just move the connector to the new one. Uh, okay, here's the connector. And I gotta reassemble this. And there's not enough room for my full-size nut driver. So I'm just kinda doing it like this. Just be careful with that speaker. All right, and the speaker grill. Line up the little tabs and pop it in. There. Make sure that it comes up, because if this is still off its tab, then that won't raise up. It looks like we got it and you can see here don't put coins in here that's where the coins will fall through now to reassemble the rest of this and so there's some seven millimeters in holding the little top on now going backwards from the way we did it before and just make sure 
you re-clip in or you put those all back together. Uh, otherwise the computer will beep at you. When you're reassembling this, there's these orange pins and they've got a, I can't see it there. They've got to go into their little notch first to reassemble and then the rest of these plastic pins can all get pushed together. All right, and now we have this all back together with a working storage panel. All the stuff is put back and cleaned up somewhat. I've got to get some armor all or some brand name nicer thing to clean this, but and there's all my dollar 70 worth of uh Canadian coins. This must have been made in Canada. So good luck if you're doing this. Uh, like I say, the 4D tech video, that really helped um, get this going. And good luck to you.